What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet, y'all are realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. I had somebody send me this video, man. I haven't even gotten a chance to watch it yet, so we about to do a blind reaction to this right now, man. So the Tate brothers being framed by two women, bro. So uh, again, like I said, I haven't even seen this video yet. Um... We'll, we'll we'll see we'll see if it's even worth uploading. <laughs> but let, let, let's let's see let's see what's up, man. Breaking news, guys! This is serious. Wiretaps revealed that both the U.S. women and U.K. women plan to frame Tate. These documents are actually crazy. So guys, two of the girls who claim to have been victims, the Tate brothers, were caught discussing how to make fools of themselves before the police descended, but also how they were determining how to disguise themselves so not to be recognised after the law enforcement raid. It says, in several wiretaps, the two young women who claim to have been victims of the Tate brothers shared secrets and advice to help them in their chosen careers. After finding themselves at the centre of a scandal of major propositions, the two were caught trying to figure out how how to disguise themselves so they wouldn't be recognized by fans on adult websites. In another conversation held by the young women from USA with her mother, the victim of the Tate Brothers is confronted by the woman who accuses her of setting the authorities on fire. So guys, this is footage of the transcripts we'll go through. So basically he said, you are a good actress, true. And says, just play it cool. This is dealing with the police, like you don't know. Play dumb. Another one says, I'm going to pull some tears. This is them pretending to the police that they're victims. This is massive. The fact that these guys are still behind bars, been victims of doing stuff like this, is absolutely crazy. Let's just go play it cool and change my name. So it will not start with A. And then someone says, lol, got it. These are some of the stuff they were saying. Play the victim. I mean, yeah, act like we still love them and stuff. Ha, ha, ha. This is what they're saying about the Tate brothers. And they're pretending to the police they're victims. This is massive news. Tomorrow we should wear makeup and sunglasses so nobody really notices what we look like or who we are. Yeah, I guess, laugh out loud. We are writing a movie ASAP. Yep. Yeah. They wanted to become famous. In this next bit, they're saying, for sure, we have to make a movie. Saying, let's email Netflix, ASAP, or Amazon Prime. They wanted some sort of documentary made about them being fake victims, which is absolutely sick. So these two have been proven not to be victims. The rest of these transcripts kind of get a bit sensitive. I'm going to put it over on my IG so you guys can see the full thing of all the gory details. So, hold on. And let's just say that this guy's right. Let's just say this guy's right. If the police have that, those WhatsApp messages, I mean, I agree with him. Why are they still locked up? Clearly, they're framed. Now, let's say that 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 this guy's wrong, and 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 those those WhatsApp messages are fake. Then, of course, yes, keep his ass in jail. The problem is when you have situations like this, man, and when you're a celebrity. You, you just don't know who your real friends are. Y'all see what happened with uh with Michael Irving? And I wanted to do a video on it. I should, I should have, let me say that, did a video on it. But I just, you know, time got away from me. And then it was like it kind of started to die down um, a little bit or whatever the case may be. But um, it, it, it is what it is. But you see what happened with Michael Irving. This man had a 15-second conversation with a woman. They separate, go their separate ways. He goes to do whatever he's doing. And then all of a sudden it's, oh, well, he did this. Oh, well, he did that. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. And that man looking crazy. And what the ESPN do? What, 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 the, what, the, what the NFL Network do? Cut ties with him immediately. He couldn't even go to the damn Super Bowl. Fellas, you have to be careful with what I keep saying this. <laughs> I keep saying this because you honestly never really know. You never know who's plotting against you, who's trying to plan, <clears throat> excuse me, who's trying to plan some crazy, crazy ass thing like this. Again, and let's just say this, that these messages are true. They are here trying to get a damn Netflix deal out of this.
They always say, man, the money is the root of all evil. Leave a like and subscribe to the notification bell. The screenshots have been leaked today from the girls who framed Tristan and Andrew from the human trafficking and the rape. The same, very same two girls who accuse them of these things, the screenshots between them two have been leaked today, where they're talking about how they're going to play this, how they're going to frame, they have plans to frame them, and how they're going to do it. There's a discussion, you can see it on the screenshots, where they're saying, are you good actress? Asking each other if they're good actresses, how they're going to let the tear come out and all that kind of stuff how they're going to get an oscar for it how they're going to contact netflix and hulu to get the best deal and not only that one of the girls also been messaging mother at the same time while she was talking to the other girl how she is not kidnapped or she's not being human trafficked and her mother ended up calling the embassy american embassy and even her daughter was like you did it i didn't tell you to and she was like what well, then why are you causing all of this like massive problem if you're not being trafficked like why are you causing this massive like a problem with embassy and panic if nothing is happening and so she's just going to saying like it's your fault like you can see it in the screenshots because she even herself said in those screenshots they do not care if i leave and then Mara goes on like, then why are you causing all of this? You can see it all in the screenshots, how she's telling her mother, they don't care if I leave. It's your fault that you call the embassy. Her mother's saying, why are you causing all of this and there, if there's no problem? And her talking to that other girl, saying that if they're good actresses, they're gonna be, they're gonna have a deal with Netflix and Hulu. This is fucking dis this is disgusting. Those two women should be pulled in a jail, not the boys. I think we all know at this point. Not to cut you off, ma'am. But you and I, just like everybody else is watching this, both know good and damn well nothing is going to happen to the to those women, even if this comes out to be true. Nothing is going to happen to them. Police is going to be like, oh, you lied on these police reports? I mean, that's illegal, but that's okay. You lied saying that you were getting this, that, and the third, and assaulted, and all this, that, and you wasn't. It was all consensual. That's all right. Just go home. We'll let them out. But like I always say, fellas, the damage is already done. Your name is tainted, taint, uh, tainted, ta tainted, tarnished, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. And there's nothing that you, I, or uh, the Tate brothers can do about it, assuming that they are innocent. Nothing is going to happen to those women. They're not going to spend a damn day in jail. Nothing is going to happen. And this is why so many of them feel so, um, feel, not obligated, but feel like they can lie about these types of situations because they know that the law is on their side that nothing's going to happen. They know these things. Nothing's going to happen to them. Nothing, no, nobody's going to do anything to them. They know this. I have knew this all along. They're innocent. This is a fucking joke. The fact that these screenshots have been now leaked and they're showing nicely how they framed them is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting and I don't understand it in my mind how they're still in jail. How are they still in jail? They're not even charged. They're not even charged. And now after this, I don't understand. I do not understand. And if there's anybody who should pay for it, it's them two girls. Breaking news. And let me say this, right? Because I, I How? And, and, and nothing, nothing against her. Um, she said everything correctly. She said everything right. Um, I never understand why women like her would come out here. I don't know how these, this isn't happening, bro. This stuff like this has been happening for a very long time and nothing almost never happens to the woman. 99.9% .9 of the time, nothing is going to happen to them. They are allowed to, um, to, wrongfully accuse men of uh of uh you know of harassment of a, of an assault y'all see it happen all the goddamn time in these gyms where women's like oh he's staring at me oh he was a, the guy literally did like this glanced at her for half of a second those clips go viral every single time oh my god he's such a creep how why would he stare why would he look at her vicinity why would he look at her direction
the sisterhood will always defend each other and will never call out when they are wrong, did, said anything wrong. They're never going to do that. That's never going to happen. So that's the reason why, ma'am, whatever your name is, that's the reason why they will not be charged, assuming that all of this stuff is true. Assuming it's true. That's why they will never be charged or, or, or have or spent a day in jail. If they, they ever get locked up, let alone charged, let alone sentenced, I would be shocked. I'd be shocked as hell. <laughs> Maybe y'all think differently, man. I need y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, again, like I said, if the Tate brothers is innocent, I, I, I hope that they get free. If they're not innocent, man, keep their ass in prison. Um, when you have situations like this, when you have a brand, you're going to have people sign up to do questionable things, and that's, you know, hey, that's between you and them. As long as there's no type of mental hindrances or mental disabilities, um, you as a grown woman, you know what you're doing, you know what you're signing up for. You know what I mean? So um, if that's what the way they want to live their life, then hey, I wish you the best. I wish you the best. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, we say for a